Hope is surrounded by the most stunning scenery. As the name suggests, it is located in the heart of the Hope Valley, overlooked by Wind Hill and Loose Hill. The village has long been a centre of industry, with a Pindale mine producing large quantities of lead in the 19th century. More recently, the cement factory that dominates the landscape on the outskirts of Hope was built in 1929, long before the Peak District National Park was created. It is the largest cement plant in the UK, producing around one and a half million tonnes of cement each year, and is a major source of local employment. Hope has plenty to offer for visitors, with a great range of shops, cafes and pubs. The church of St Peter dates back to the 14th century, although the village was recorded as having a church in the Doomsday Book of 1086. Good afternoon. Well, today it's Thursday the 21st of July 2022. I'm starting today's circular walk here in Hope, another beautiful Peak District village. Opposite the Woodroff Arms, I took a footpath leading up some steps into a field. Passing through a small housing estate, I continued along another path in the same direction, before turning right at a signpost. Reaching Edale Road, I carefully crossed over to Bowden Lane, which I followed towards Hope Cemetery. Staying with the lane, I soon passed under the Hope Valley Railway Line. I'm going to stop and have a sandwich now because it's getting on for two o'clock already. I started this walk late today, but that's fine. I mean, the good thing about this time of year is that the days are longer. So even if I'm finished by eight o'clock this evening, it'll still be light, which in some ways might be quite nice. Should be less busy today because it's a Thursday. Kids haven't yet broken up from school, so we should be all right. Anyway. Yeah, I'll just stop and have a bit of sustenance because I think I'm going to need it for what's ahead of me. This is actually the first time in nearly three months that I've come out to film a walk. I wasn't actually planning on leaving it that long, but other things have happened. If you saw the first film I made this year, I did say then, I wonder what 2022 is going to bring. Wow, and what a year it's been so far. Yep, I had plans this year, but due to what's happened during the last three months, I've had to change those plans. However, I won't talk about that now. I'll talk about it when I do my next walk. Because for now, I just want to talk about everything that's related to today's walk. But yeah, so I'll finish my sandwich and then I'll get on and continue with my climbing because I've got one mother of a climb to do. <laughs> Having filled my face, I began the long climb as I headed for Twitch Hill Farm ahead. Beyond the farm buildings, the climb became much steeper as I slowly rose up through the gorse, heather and bracken of open moorland, 
pausing occasionally to take a breather and to appreciate the views behind as I gained height. Eventually, beyond a broken wall, the gradient eased as I could see the distinctive rocky peak to which I was heading. Great stuff. I have now finally made it to the ridge path. So I've done the worst of the climbing for today. Wow. <laughs> that really was a mother of a climb. <laughs> I can remember what a mother of a climb it was from the last time I did it, which wasn't that long ago actually, and I'll talk more about that shortly. Anyway, now that I'm on the main ridge path, I've just got a little bit more to do, but it's not much. If I go back that way, that'll take me towards Hope Cross, and from there you can get onto the Great Kinder Scout. I won't be going there today though, I'm going this way, because I'm now going to be making my way onto the summit of Wynn Hill. Okay, just before I do continue on to the summer to Wind Hill, I'm going to have a bit of a rant. I've just seen something that really annoys me. It totally pisses me off, this does. This. People dropping their litter in the countryside. Whoever you are, you should be bloody ashamed of yourself. And I'm going to join my fellow YouTubers here in saying, leave no trace. If you come to the countryside, bring your own litter, take it home with you. Don't drop it on the ground here in the lovely Peak District, or wherever you are in the countryside. You know, it can damage wildlife. You know, it's just, I just think it's shocking that people do this. Look, more here. Let me have a look. Can't believe it. Lots of sweet wrappers just dumped on the path here and into the heather as well. It's just absolutely shocking. I just remember when I did my dovetail walk last year and I saw litter sort of dumped beside the river there and bumped into a voluntary warden who was picking up litter because people sort of clearly think the fairies are going to clear it after them. Um, and that guy told me that, you know, in one day he filled up over a hundred bags. I mean, it's just, it's just shocking. I can't believe why people do it. Why do you do it? If you're watching this, you should be bloody ashamed of yourself. But, you know, for those of you who just dumped this lot of sweet wrappers, I've picked them up for you, don't worry. So yeah. I'm going to join my fellow YouTubers there who say, leave no trace, because it's shocking. If I ever catch you, I'll bloody skin you alive. <laughs> anyway, rant's over. I am going to enjoy the rest of my walk now, as I do now climb onto the summit of Wynn Hill. The summit of Wynn Hill is 1,516 feet above sea level. It is bounded by the River Derwent to the east, the River No to the southwest and Lady Bower Reservoir to the north, with a ridge running northwest, linking it to Kinder Scout. The summit of Wind Hill, fantastic. And you know what? I've got Wind Hill to myself today. lovely. There were a couple of people having their lunch just now but uh, they've since moved on. I've seen the odd walker here and there on the way up but uh, yeah generally it's been very quiet today. Lovely. Which is more than can be said for the last time I was doing this walk. <laughs> it was absolutely heaving with people. It was a Saturday to be fair and it was sunnier but uh, yeah absolutely heaving. 
So uh, I've chosen the right day to come back and do this walk. Yes, so I'm doing this walk again. I'll talk about that now. I did actually come and film this walk just under three months ago. So you must be asking yourselves, why am I doing this walk again so soon? Well, a couple of reasons really. I think uh, one reason, well, it's a lovely walk anyway, so why not do it again so soon? But the main reason, and I think what you need to ask yourselves here, is why haven't you seen the film that I shot less than three months ago? I lost the footage, that's why! <laughs> yeah, I actually came here at the start of May and filmed this very walk that I'm doing again today. Uh, it was bizarre. It was a Saturday, it was quite a warm day, very sunny, and as I say, there were lots of people here on Wind Hill then. But uh, I got home and just as I sort of opened the camera to take out the SD card to transfer all the footage onto my computer, I must have pressed the SD card in such a way that it just sort of shot out. So I pressed the card and it went bing, bounced off my chest and went bing over that way somewhere. <laughs> and I haven't got a clue where that SD card went. It just seemed to disappear into thin air. So I just went, no! <laughs> oh, it was so disheartening having spent the day making this film and then just losing it all at the end of the day. Oh, well, I've never done it before and I hope I never do it again, but I'm actually quite surprised that it's taken this long for that thing to happen because those SD cards are very easy to lose. This is why when, before I come out for a day's filming, I make sure that my SD card is inside my camera so that I don't have to change it when I'm outside on location. Because you imagine if I tried to change SD cards whilst I'm here and I lost it. <laughs> never see it again. Well, I'll never see that card anyway, because to say, I lost it at home somewhere, but I just thought, oh. And after a while I just thought, well, I'll just have to come out and film it again. So that's why I'm here today, filming it again. Uh, luckily, to say, this is a fairly local walk. I mean, it would have been very upsetting if I'd gone to Scotland for a few days and made a film of a walk there and come all the way back home and lost that SD card. <laughs> so at least I was able to come and do this one again. You know, so, hey ho, you live and learn, but at least I'll be more careful next time. I've just got to make sure at the end of the day that I am careful, because <laughs> I ain't doing this again. <laughs> That was lovely. I really enjoyed my walk onto Wind Hill. A hard climb, but as I said, definitely worth it. So it's all downhill now. And the beauty is, even though I had to come here again today to reshoot this film, <laughs> Wind Hill has been a lot quieter because as I say, last time I was here, it was absolutely heaving with people. So that's been quite a bonus really. So maybe losing the SD card was trying to tell me something, really. <laughs> From the short but splendidly ragged ridge of Windhill Summit, I quickly dropped down to Windhill Plantation. As I entered the edge of the woods, I found a very long hose along the path of which I was about to walk and could see smoke amongst the nearby trees. I just hope that's not a forest fire. Obviously this hose pipe's here for a reason, so, ooh, fingers crossed it's not too serious. Just after I had turned right along the path beside the wall, a mountain rescue and several fire service vehicles pass me. At a fork, 
I bore right through a gap in the wall to take a lesser but distinct path signed to Aston. It's a fire engine down there. They've made up some tanks of water, so... Oh well, I've every faith in them. Anyway, I'm making my way back to Hope now. As I make my way back towards Hope, I think it's time to give a shout out. So, I'm just gonna negotiate a, a high step style here a minute, hang on. <laughs> Whoa, gotta concentrate on this flipping heck. I'm sure one day I'm gonna come a cropper on one of these styles. <laughs> I can see myself doing the splits. <laughs> that could be a bit painful. Whoa, hey, I survived it. Yes, as I was saying, <laughs> a shout out. Today's shout out goes to a couple of friends of mine, Maggie and Terry. Hi, Maggie and Terry. Hope you're both keeping well. Now, Maggie and Terry, I actually bumped into them about a year ago. Um, it was when I was in Hope, which is why I thought about giving them a shout out on this walk today. Uh, I was actually working. I'd actually stopped in Hope to do a, a bit of work that I needed to do. And uh, Maggie and Terry were walking past my van. And it was like, oh, hello. <laughs> and it was lovely to actually see them. They come to the Peak District a lot. They love the Peak District. They absolutely love walking. Um, and they've done lots of walks around here. I mean, they're much fitter than I am. Much of them. I mean, they're, they're older than I am. But I'll tell you what, they are a lot fitter than I will be. <laughs> Fair play to them. But no, they love the Peak District. And it was lovely to see them, actually. It was, uh, I always tend to bump into people in unexpected places. So, yeah, I was just sort of, just parked my work van up in Hope, doing what I needed to do. And uh, there was Maggie and Terry, just about to start the walk they were doing that day. They were camping, actually, if I remember rightly. I think they were staying in a, in a proper campsite in, in Hope. They weren't wild camping, but they were staying in a campsite. And uh, I can't remember how long they were staying in the area for, but uh, yeah, it was lovely to see them. So a lovely couple, and it's a pleasure to have them as friends of mine. So look forward to bumping into the two of you again, Maggie and Terry. <laughs> Continuing my descent, I walked along a narrow enclosure. Over a stile at the bottom, I came out onto a narrow lane. Turning right, I kept with the lane for a little over half a mile, past the old hall and scattered farms and cottages that make up the quiet hamlet of Aston. <laughs> a Peak District walk wouldn't be a Peak District walk if there was no squeeze style on route. Although, that's quite wide for a squeeze style. Even a fat git like me can get through it. eventually went under the railway again, as I reached a field the other side, to meet the bank of the River No. I'm now beside the River No. Not no as in yes or no, no as in N-O-E. <laughs> so I'm now approaching the main road just outside Hope, which means I'm almost at the end of the walk. This walk has been less than five miles, but it's not been an easy walk because of that climb up onto Wind Hill. It really is a mother of a climb, but boy, it's worth it. <laughs> 
The funny thing is, when you're on top of Wind Hill, you can't see why Wind Hill is such a distinctive hill. Looking at it from here, you can, because it's just like a little hill plonked on top of the top of the ridge. So yeah, it is quite distinctive. <laughs> it's been nice doing this walk again, even though it was only three months ago I, I filmed it then. <laughs> yeah, so I've got to make sure that uh, I get home now and not lose the sodden SD card. <laughs> I should be actually very clear here that it's a micro SD card. You know, they are micro, you know, what they say on the tin. Um, so they are very easy to lose, so I'm going to be very, very careful getting this home now. <laughs> I don't want to lose it again. It's been quite nice, though, refilming it in a way, because when I did film it three months ago, it was at the start of the May Day Bank Holiday Week. And I always have that week off anyway, because my birthday falls in that week. So if I recall correctly, I filmed it on the Saturday, and of course say it was very busy as well on Wind Hill, which has been a bonus today because it's been a lot quieter. Um, and then I think I was doing something on Sunday and I was busy the rest of the week because that was my birthday week. And I was planning on making the next film, I think within another week or so. But of course, things changed. Not just because I lost the SD card for this, but something else happened which changed quite a few of my plans for this year so that's why it's taking me so long to come out and refilm today's walk but as I said earlier I'll tell all on the next walk <laughs>